In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Facebook Pixel onto a MailChimp landing page and test it's working correctly using the Facebook Pixel Helper. Hi, my name is Jonathan Tanner and I'm the CEO and co-founder here at Social Media College. In one of our other videos, which we've included the link in the description below, um, we showed you how to build a landing page on MailChimp for free. So one of the great things about MailChimp landing pages, they're one of the few that offer a free plan. So if you're just getting started, it's a really, really good option. Uh, and then you can look to potentially move on to one of the other paid landing page builders with more functionality at a later point. Uh, so what we're going to do today is a continuation of that uh, video. We're going to show you how to install your Facebook pixel onto your landing page and then test to make sure it's working. So first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need a Facebook pixel. Uh, so I'm assuming that you already have a um, business manager. So if you go to uh, Facebook, business.facebook.com, uh, if you don't have a business manager, there's a ton of stuff available from Facebook itself or on YouTube on how to set up your business manager. And you're also going to need a business. So here I've got a fictional business called Online Art Store, which we're going to go into. So there's a couple of ways to set up your pixel. I'm gonna show you one. Uh, another is that if you just launch straight into a campaign um, and you try and, uh, try and use it in there, it will, it will prompt you to set up your pixel. Um, you can also go into Event Manager. I'm just gonna show you here by going into, once you're inside your Business Manager, just by going into Business Settings here on the left-hand side. And then you'll see down here uh, under, I'm just gonna move myself out of the way. Um, you'll see down here under data sources, click on that and then click on pixels. Okay, so see I've, I've created a ton of pixels here already. You can have up to 100 pixels under the same business, um, but uh, I'm gonna create a new one just for the purposes of today. So you're gonna click add. Uh, you come into here, it'll automatically uh, give it a name, uh, online art stores pixel. Now, uh, one of the great things, and because it's in their best interest, Facebook's work really, really hard to integrate with a bunch of the leading website builders and landing page builders. So if you actually, if you've already got a website live, you can enter your domain in here and it's gonna help you set it up on that website, which is really, really useful. Uh, or you can click uh, continue here. And you'll see here that uh, they're, they're saying to um, continue managing my business. You can jump back into business manager for Facebook or you can set the pixel up now. So if we go click set the pixel up now, there's a couple of options here. Now, most of you I suspect will be using one of the website or landing page builders that Facebook is already partnered with. You know, all the top ones like WordPress, Squarespace, Wix, HubSpot, et cetera, they're all there. Uh, so if you click on that top option, uh, you'll see here that these are all the partners that Facebook has gone and partnered with, okay? Now we're not gonna be doing that today because uh, we're gonna actually show you how to do it on MailChimp and you can see MailChimp isn't here. So I'm just gonna close out of that. But you'll see now that the pixel has been created. And most importantly, you can see up here in the right-hand side, there's a pixel ID. And this is really, really important um, because you wanna make sure that you have this pixel ID. It's the same idea you're gonna be using when you use the Facebook pixel helper to make sure that your pixel is firing or another word for firing is working, okay? So that's the main thing, uh, we've created our pixel. Now, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into uh, MailChimp and we're gonna set up a very, very basic, very, very basic uh, landing page. The other video is all about how to create landing pages uh, really, really well using MailChimp. So I'm not gonna go into that into detail. You can click on the link in the description below to see how to do that. But I'm gonna create something super simple and today we're just gonna be talking about how to install the pixel on it. So assuming that you already have a MailChimp account, if you don't, you can click on create account, go through, create a free account. It gives you up to 2000 contacts. So once we come into here, let's get through this. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just to go to create a landing page. And we'll just call this uh, online art store uh, ebook. Okay, uh, because I'm using this to collect email addresses, I'm just gonna come down and I'm gonna select grow your list, grow your email list. Okay, so what you wanna do in here uh, is you just wanna make some very, very simple changes. 
uh, in order to try and entice people to do this. So uh, what I might do is add an image. Uh, you see here, uh, what I did was I just jumped onto unsplash.com, uh, typed in you know, modern art, which was relevant to my business, found an image that I liked and downloaded that for free. Uh, so once you come into here uh, in MailChimp, you can then upload that particular image. So I can click on upload and it will be that top image you see there, um, which I've already uploaded into here. It's going to upload in and you can select that image. Uh, so it's nice and easy. It's going to change the background. Uh, maybe I decide to delete the logo. Just delete that straight out. And then here, uh, we're going to change the headline. To maybe download the ultimate guide to home office design because they're an online art store. Okay, might change this down here. Um, spruce up your home office with this 20 page guide on designing modern and stylish home office. Okay, something along those lines. Again, guys, this isn't about how to build a high converting landing page or anything like that. We're just uh, purely using this for demonstration purposes. Maybe I add in the first name, uh, maybe change the button to download now. Okay, click save and close. Now, once we're, move my head out of the way again. Okay, click save and close down the bottom here. Now, once you, once you have your landing page in a state where you're happy with it, you come through to here and you'll see there's a couple of things. It's got the, uh, the page title, URL, et cetera, et cetera, content, which we've just edited. And if you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see settings and tra tracking and you want to click edit. All right, so if you scroll down further here, you can see that it says track with Facebook pixel. So I'm going to select that and then select use an existing pixel ID, right? And this is what I was saying before, we're going to need our, our pixel ID in order to uh, ensure that we are tracking it properly. So here you can jump back into your business settings within your business manager in Facebook. And you're just going to click there and it's going to copy. So it's a copy to clipboard there. Uh, come back into MailChimp, select it here and then right click and then paste. Okay. So that number there is going to match to your pixel ID number, which is just here, which, which you got uh, when you set up your pixel. <clears throat> and then scroll down here and click save. And it's that easy. It's that easy to install a pixel uh, on a MailChimp landing page. Uh, one of the biggest challenges about the Facebook pixel is that every single website builder, every single landing page builder has a slightly different process on how you install a pixel. Some a lot easier than others. MailChimp is particularly easy. It's just a matter of copying in that, that code in there. Okay, so we've installed the tracking on that and then we're gonna click publish. Okay, great. So now uh, MailChimp has given us a unique URL, URL standing for um, unique link. Okay, so click on that and you'll see here, this is our landing page that's, that's going. But we now want to test. We want to test to make sure that our pixel has been correctly installed and it is what's called firing. Okay, that means that it's working. And we're going to do that by using a thing called the Facebook Pixel Helper. And this is a free Google Chrome extension, so it will only work on Google Chrome. So you've got to use, be using the Google Chrome uh, browser. Um, come through to here. It's a free extension. You click on it. See extension here. And then click once you come through. You'll see Facebook Pixel Helper in extensions. And then simply click Add to Chrome. And then Add Extension. Okay, so you'll see uh, once that has been installed, um, it'll say remove from Chrome, uh, which is great. So now uh, what we want to do is go to our extension and select it. So if you're not seeing uh, the extension, you just want to click on this little uh, piece up here. It'll say extensions there. You click on that 
and you'll see that it has been installed successfully. What you can do is you can actually just uh, put that little pin there and you'll see that it's now appeared up here in your uh, list of extensions that are there. Okay, so we're gonna go to our landing page, the landing page that we installed the Facebook Pixel on. And once we're there, what we wanna do is we wanna click on this and uh, you'll see that it's saying, currently it's saying there's no pixels found, right? And that's because we've just installed the Facebook Pixel Helper onto Google Chrome. So you just gotta be careful. Sometimes uh, things won't appear instantaneously. Sometimes it can take with Facebook. It does tend to be a little bit buggy sometimes. So make sure that you uh, don't, just, don't just give up straight away. What we're gonna do here, which should resolve it, is just to refresh this page. And you'll see what's changed. You see up here that um, a little number, it's turned blue and you can see that there's a little number up here. So you go into here and you can see now that Online Art Stores Pixel has successfully been installed, right? It's got the page view pixel, which is a default um, event basically across all of the Facebook pixels. Don't worry too much about that. Uh, but you can see here, Online Art Store, it is working. And that's little, this little tick next to it, right? So this little tick next to it, that means your pixel is firing. It means it's working correctly. So that anyone who uh, visits this page, uh, the pixel is now being tracked. Uh, why is that important? Why is it useful to install uh, the pixel? Well. More than anything, what you wanna do is you wanna know, you wanna be able to develop a list of people who have come to this page because at a later stage, you may wanna target those people with a specific type uh, of ad. Uh, in the next video uh, that's coming up, and again, we're gonna include uh, a link to the next video in the description, we're gonna show you how to develop a thank you page and then set up a custom conversion, right? So we're gonna set up the next page using MailChimp again, very easily, we're gonna replicate this page and then set up a thank you page and then put a custom conversion on that thank you page. And again, why are we gonna do that? We're gonna do that because uh, we wanna know who has made it through, who has actually downloaded your piece of content or purchased one of your products. And then you wanna create an audience of those people and potentially a lookalike audience of people who have similar characteristics to those. And we also wanna create that thank you page because what it does is it helps to try, helps the Facebook ad algorithm uh, to know the types of people who are most likely to convert, who are most likely to reach that thank you page, and it will let the ad algorithm do its, do its thing, uh, create its magic, and, and target more of those people to come through with your uh, paid ads. So that's it. That's the video today. It's creating uh, a very, very simple landing page using MailChimp, installing the Facebook Pixel, and then installing the Facebook Pixel helper to ensure that your pixel is firing. Uh, if you uh, love this video, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, for more great social media tutorials and tips and tricks. We release a ton of great content. And of course, uh, if you'd like to watch the other videos, as I've mentioned several times, there's gonna be those links in the description for you to have a look at how to create a landing page, a great looking landing page on MailChimp, and also how to create a custom conversion, how to create a custom conversion and a thank you page using MailChimp as well. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.